of arrogance. So much arrogance from a man that I have so much respect for. So you criticize, so what? Your critique, what would it do? I have told Baumia that if he, Baumia, includes any key appointee from the Nana Ado government, I will criticize him because I don't want to see him. It's not about you, Mr. Kofi Bento, with all respect. I didn't expect this lowly statement from a man that I have so much respect for. My brother, listen to the statement. I have found a way to tell Baumia that I don't want to see any, I don't want to see any Akufu Ado appointee, any key appointees in his government should he win. If he does, I would criticize him. So, so arrogant. So arrogant. My brother, we respect you as a member of the country, a citizen of the nation. We respect you as somebody who has brains. We respect you as somebody who is smart when it comes to analysis of issues. But if this is turning into arrogance, my brother, my sister, there's a place to relegate arrogant people. Now you could have just said, listen, man, Ghanaians are not accepting or Ghanaians will not accept, or better still, Ghanaians are not expecting that Baumia would include any key appointees of Dana Ado in his government should he win. And that gives you more respect than you standing and saying, I don't want to see, I, 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 I. That's total arrogance. Please, Kofi Bento, stay away from the arrogance. Remember that you are not the most brilliant person in Ghana. It's just a privilege. So when we speak, my brother, my sister, we must bring in some respect. We must stay away from arrogance, my brother, my sister. That notwithstanding, let me get into the very fiber of this issue. Why would Kofi Bentil not want to see any Nana Akufuado key appointees in here? It's simple. Because Nana Akufuado has failed. If Baumea himself has said that Anna Akufuado has failed, and he's trying to dissociate himself, trying to decouple himself from the Nana Akufuado marriage, it tells you that we need to impeach Nana Akufuado. His own vice president says that he has failed. He has decoupled himself from Nana Akufuado by calling himself the driver's mate, not even the wife or the partner of the government. My brother, my sister, today, Kofi Bentil says, if you appoint any key appointee of Nana Akufuado, a lot of people are going to be disappointed. Now, if people are going to be disappointed, for what reason would they be? It's very simple. They will be disappointed because Nana Akufuado has gone down, 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 down the deepest echelons of shame and failure. Nana Akufuado is a failure. Nana Akufuado is a deceiver. And the Bible says the devil is a deceiver. Today, my brother, my sister, the nation has been bedeviled with so much debt. Today, the nation has been bedeviled, my brother, my sister, with nothing but debt. How many people still respect the Ghana that we have all respected from the days of Kwame Nkrumah? Today, anytime they hear Ghana, they hear debt. We are just beggars going around begging and asking people to give us this, give us that, give us that. My brother, it's a shame. This is what Kofi Bentel is saying. My brother, my sister, I do not even want a Nana Akufu Ado 
who came in, my brother, my sister, giving us all the promises and all the hopes. And now everything has fallen asunder. I do not want a Nana Ado conversation. Nana Ado is gone. He's past and gone. Nana Ado is now history. He's synonymous with failure. He's synonymous with hopelessness. Synonymous with inefficiency, my brother, my sister. Today, there's a new conversation. And that new conversation must not include Baumia. Baumia was part of Nana Akufuado right from the start. My brother, my sister of this government. And if they have failed, they should lump themselves together in shame, bury themselves, never ever to resurrect. But because of who we are, Baumia still has the mouth to go around talking that he wants to be president. I leave it here. Let